Hello, I'm Kathy, the Adult Services Librarian at the Waynesville Branch of the Haywood County Public Library System. And today, I would like to show you about a resource that we offer you may not be aware of and show you how to use it. It's called Homegrown Collection. So the first thing you do is uh, go to haywoodlibrary.org, hover over services, click on online resources, scroll down just a little bit to Homegrown Collection. So Homegrown Collection is a collection of ebooks that are free for you to access. And all these ebooks are uh, from North Carolina publishers. So there may be some North Carolina authors that you do not see on here, and that's because their publishers are not located in North Carolina. There are 3,789 books for you to pick from. And a couple of audiobooks, which is a new service they're offering. So they'll be adding to that collection um, soon. So right now there's only three of those. So I'm just going to focus on the ebooks. And um, I will tell you that it's best to sign up for an account so that you can access the many features I'm about to show you. But you can read a book on here without doing that. So let's just look at popular fiction. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to log in real quick here and show you. So you right here you would create your profile. It's very simple to do. I already have one, so I'm going to go ahead and oops. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And like I said, if you'd rather not do this, you can still uh, read the books. You just won't have access to some of the really nifty features I'm about to show you. Okay. So we're in popular fiction. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit without searching for a particular title, just kind of shelf browsing like you would at the library. And... Click on this heart right here, and it will save these books to your favorites. I'll show you later how to access that. Here's a really popular one that so many people have asked about over the last few years, Breakfast with Buddha. I'm going to add that to my favorites. Whoops. And let's go ahead and open that up. So I just clicked on it. And you'll see right here where my cursor is that you can read it. So I just click on that, and the book loads up real quickly. And let me show you those features that I mentioned that you can access when you're signed in. So the contents, that's like the, um, you know, like the, the title page, the dedication, if there's any chapters in it, because, you know, there are nonfiction books in here, too. Uh, reader's Guide, if there is one, right there. A little bit about the author. And then search. You can actually search for a word in the book. Bookmarks. It's where you can actually bookmark the book, and it will bring you right back to that page when you log back on again. Notes is where you can see the notes that you've made. Details is a summary, like what you would find on the uh, title page of a book. See, it gives you a little description there. And then share is if you want to share the book with someone, you can send it to them. So let's just go back and let me go back to my account here and I'll show you my favorites. And that's everything that I clicked on the little heart. So you might be familiar with um, Lee Smith. All of her books are on her here because her publisher is in North Carolina. Um, let's look at the revised fundamentals of caregiving. Because I did read that and I bookmarked it. And I'll show you how to put a note in here. 
Um, you also can access this from your phone. So um, I've already showed you all of the um, features on the left here. Let's go over to the right. You can turn pages with the arrows. And you can change the font size. Make it bigger or smaller. You can bookmark this page so that when you open it back up, it brings you right back here. And you can make a note. This is great, especially if you're reading a book for book club and you want to make notes throughout. You just write your notes in here and submit it and it saves them all for you. And then you can just open up your notes. And you can see there's eight of them on this book. And when you're done reading, like I said, if you've bookmarked it, it will take you right back there to the place where you were. So, as you can see, it's real easy to read an ebook in Homegrown. And let me just show you real quick before I sign off that you also can access nonfiction. And the categories are listed for you here. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see there's also young adult and juvenile fiction and nonfiction. And at the very bottom are those audiobooks I told you about. There's only three right now, but they are working on adding to that. You can access all this from your phone as well. You don't need an app. You can just go in directly from the library's webpage, click on online resources, and then homegrown. Hope you enjoyed this. Give it a try. It's a great resource. And if you need any help or if you have any questions, just email me. And thanks very much for watching.